Today we are going to uh, learn uh, how to conduct the energy balance around a batch reactor under constant pressure constraints. Again, we will start from the species conservation equation. We have D and A over DT. That is equal to RA times V under constant volume constraints. We were able to transfer this V into the expression. However, our constraint is constant pressure. But today, I'm going to have an additional constraint, which I will come back later to the species conservation equation. Let's leave it like this. Let's derive the energy balance equation. So here on this side, we have a material balance. And the energy balance for a batch reactor is du over dt. That is equal to net heat exchange, shaft work, and PDV over DT. Under constant pressure conditions, we can write this as DPV over DT. We can transfer it to the left side of the equal and bring with the internal energy term to obtain U plus PV. That is equal to Q plus shaft work. This term is called the enthalpy. dH over dt is equal to Q plus shaft work. So this is the first uh, and most rigorous way of uh, bringing the terms together uh, to have the reaction energetics uh, in terms of an enthalpy variable but we have to also keep in mind that under constant volume conditions for incompressible fluids such as liquids, dV over dt term is approximately zero, and dH over dt is approximately equal to du over dt, and as a result, heat capacity at constant pressure is almost equal to the heat capacity at constant volume. So here I'm going to continue for the condition where we have an incompressible fluid uh, because we have to uh, develop descriptions, equations, rigorous equations to take the volume change into account. Uh, I haven't uh, done that yet, so we are going to proceed with an approximation that we are dealing with an incompressible fluid. As a result, we have d over dt ca to be equal to r sub a. Now I'm going to derive the expression for 
the dh over dt, just like we have done for du over dt. And using that expression, we will discuss the, uh, uh, the uh, unstabilities that we can encounter, the multiple steady states that we can encounter in a chemical reactor. So on this side, let's again dissect the H into its constituents. and obtain the final expression as we have done yesterday. So again, starting from the same uh, expression, by the addition of the adiabatic constraints of an adiabatic reactor and a negligible shaft work, we are able to derive the temperature change within the reactor as a function of conversion, enthalpy change of the reaction, and uh, the mean heat capacity mean feed heat capacity. Uh, the temperature expression is substituted in the Arrhenius expression. And as uh, we understand from this, uh, as the reaction proceeds, temperature increases. Now let's come back to the material balance side. Uh, we are uh, working for the incompressible fluid condition. And for the incompressible fluid, for a uh, pseudo first order reaction, uh, Ra is minus K times Ca, and our uh, time progression of this reaction for a batch reactor takes this form. And of course, since our temperature is a function of x, we are going to convert concentration to uh, the equivalent expression in terms of conversion, remembering that Ca0 minus Ca divided by Ca, Ca0, was equal to x, or Ca was equal to Ca0, 1 minus x. Or dCa over dt is equal to minus Ca0 dx over dt. Such that we have minus Ca0 dx over dt to be equal to minus k0 e to the minus e over r times t. t is equal to t0 plus delta h over cp mean mean feed heat capacity times x. Now instead of a temperature variable, we have a conversion variable in the Arrhenius form times Ca0 times 1 minus x. The negative terms cancel, Ca0 terms cancel, and we have a nonlinear ordinary differential equation to be solved with the constraint when time is equal to 0, with the initial condition, time is equal to 0, 
x is equal to 0.